So today this is what we are going to learn the element of set. For example, my class with you right now, you are uh, from one topaz and one sapphire, right? So actually, all of you in one topaz, you are the element of one topaz. And then all of you in one sapphire, you are the element in one sapphire. Okay, when it is not, for example, one sapphire, we have uh, like Jaden, Jaden in one sapphire. Jaden is not an element of one topaz. He is not in one topaz. So over here, we have an example given here. Okay, you can see the example. The element of a set are defined according to certain characteristic. Each of the elements must satisfy the condition of the set that is defined. For example, set A is equal to the local fruits in Malaysia. So of course, you know the local fruit that is very popular right now, durian. Durian, right? Okay, durian is a local fruit. So it is an element of set A. Okay, because set A, they indicate it is a local fruit. Therefore, durian is the element, this one, in set A. Now, to write down is an element, we use the symbol like this. We call this epsilon. This is the Greek symbol. Before this, we have like um, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and so on, right? Like the delta variants that we are having right now, the COVID. Uh, so this is the, I think, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth symbol in the Greek uh Greek language lah, huh? so we call it epsilon you can see this part epsilon this to represent is an element of okay therefore for durian just now so durian is an element of set a you write like this apple is not a rock of fruit so you look at the third uh one two three four the fourth paragraph here apple is not a local fruit so apple is not an element of set A. Therefore, it's not an element we write down using symbol. The epsilon, okay, the epsilon, you just slash it. Means it's not an element. Okay, therefore, apple is not an element of set A. So you remember this? When you want to write down element, you use the epsilon symbol. When it is not an element, you just slash the epsilon symbol. Are you okay? Easy, right? Yes. Uh, now, we look at the example here. We need to determine whether they are the element or not the element. So, this is the example from your book again. Huh? Given that P is equal to X, such that X is a prime number and the X is in between 0 and 20. Remember the prime number. What is a prime number class? Number ah, number perdana. Can you give me the first prime number? Two. Two. Very good. The first prime number start with two. After that? Three. Three. After that? Five. 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 Continue. Seven. Seven. Anybody else continue? Nine. Nine. Is nine a prime number? No. No, because 9 can be divided by 3, so no, it's not. Three. What else? 11. 11, correct. 13. 13. 13. Ah, continue 17. until less than 20. Eh? After that? 17. 17. 17, very good. One more. 19. Yes, no. here we stop because there's one less than 20, and 20 is not a prime number. Okay, now okay. we have the list already. Now we are going to complete each of the following using the symbol is an element of or not an is not an element of. So five is five an element of set P here? Is, yes. yes, right. Yes. The five is in here. Oh. So it is an element of set P. And then B is at an element of set P. No. no, it's not in the list. So it is not a Element from set P. 19? Yes. yes. Yes, 19 is an element of set P. Number one? No. Yeah, no. number one is not an element of set P. Okay? Simple only. Now we move on to the next one. The next one is we need to determine the number of elements. Just now you see these are the elements, right? These are the elements. So if I want to know the number of elements for the prime number in set P here, 
you just need to calculate okay calculate the number here one two three four five six seven add so we have add meaning the number of elements in set p is equal to add to write that you use the letter n and then use the bracket like this the number of elements in set p is equal to add this is how you write it okay we look at the further elaboration about the number of elements huh? this is the part here Number of elements in set P can be represented by the notation P. For example, P equal to A, B, C, D, E, F. So the number of elements in set P is 6. Why 6? Because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Thus, the number of elements in set P equal to 6. So this is how you write it. Do you have any question? No, no question. No. Ah? Okay, we move on to the example. No. Let's see on how to solve the example here. No. Uh, are you sleepy? No. <laughs> no, ah? So, no. given that P is equal to letters in the word wa wa san and Q equal to X such that X is a two digit number such that the sum of its digit is 7. Oh, it's very confusing here. Don't worry, we go through slowly. Okay, now we look at set P. Set P is the letters in the word wa wa san. You remember last time I've told you, the repeated letters, we consider it as one only. So we have two repeated W here and three repeated A. Okay, so first we find the number of elements in set P here first. Okay, to find the number of elements in set P, we list the element in set P first. Okay, I use blue one. Eh? Element in set P, because there are the letter in the word in Wawasan, so you just need to list the one that is uh, repeated, write down once only. W, A, so A is done, then we have S, and okay so we already got all the elements in set p thus you can write down the number of elements for set p like this is equal to so you calculate how many elements in here four ah four so you get the answer already that's all to find out the number of elements in set p easy easy isn't it now we look at set q this is set q here set q is equal to x such that x is a two-digit number. You remember this, huh? They want two-digit number. Such that the sum of its digit is seven. So a two-digit number, the sum is seven. Means it's something like this. You need to think of two digits, for example, one plus six. The answer is seven. So you get a seven. So 16 is the number that is mentioned over here. So we have to figure out the element for set Q. You have to figure out slowly. Eh? So 1, 6 is the first one. We can get 7. Any two-digit number that we can get 7 from there after 16? 1 plus 6, no more, right? Then we are going to start with digit 2. 2 plus? 2 plus what equal to 7? 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5. So 25 is another one. Okay, no more, right? After 2. Then 3. 3 plus what? Equal to 7. 3 plus 4. Very good. So start with 4 now. 4 plus 3. Four. Lah, huh? After that, 5. 5 plus what? Two. 5 two. plus 2. After that, 6. Four. 6 plus 1. Four. After that, 7. 7 plus what? 7 plus zero. 0. 7 plus 0. We get a 7. Any more? Four. Can we use add? No more, right? Because they want a 7. So, no more. So, we stop here. Okay? Meaning that set Q consists of 16, 25, 34, 43, 52, 61, and 70. Okay, now we are going to write down the number of Q. You can straight away write down. Number of set Q is equal to how many here? 1, 2, 3, 7. Yeah, 7 all together. So that's all to write down the number of elements in set Q. Okay, now we continue. Okay, so we already found out the element, the number of elements. Now we are enter into entering into the equality. You know, from the equality, the equal words means they are the same. 
okay so now we are going to find out how the two sets are the same for example you are given three of the sets here set a is equal to harum set b is equal to murah and set c is equal to rumah so if you notice one thing over here all the elements in set a b and c are the same you see h a r u m h a r u m h a r u m all the elements are the same when all the elements are the same we consider that all these three sets are equal that's all okay now we try to go through the example example four eh? okay explain whether each of the following pairs of sets are equal set so you're given set p equal to the vowels in the word scholar and then set q is equal to the vowels in the word johanan so before you determine whether that two sets are equal or not you need to find out the element in both of this set p and q so we are going to list the element first uh, i make it darker for you to see eh? okay so list the element for set p set p are the vowels in the word scholar what are the vowels do you remember a e i o u ah, -E very good a e i o u so the only vowels in set p are e o e n a what about set q what are the vowels in the kojohanan e o a o e o a do we write down the a another time no no we only write down once One. so they are the same isn't it these two yes. are the same Ah, thus you just write down p, plus, p is q. equal to q means q. set p equal to set q that's the meaning there okay oh, okay now we look at b huh? another try here f is equal to perfect squares which are less than 50. do you still remember perfect square no. Perfect square. The smallest perfect square is what? Yes. One oh, times perfect. one equal to one. So one is a perfect square. Two times two equal to four. Four is a perfect oh. square. Remember the perfect square. Eh? So it apply whatever you have learned in the previous topic. Eh? So here we are going to list the element for set F first. Set F is equal to the perfect square, which is less than 50. So we will start with 1, 4. After that, nine. Ah, 3, 3, 9, 4, 4. 24. 4, 4, 16. 5, 5, 25. 6 times 6, 36. 7 times 7? 49. 49. Do we continue with the add times add? No. At, at 64, it's... already exit no, 50, 50, so cannot, right? Ah, so we have to close the curly braces. Hello. Okay. Now we continue with set G. Set G is equal to 4, 6, 16, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. Oh, this is already given. So we don't have to repeat by writing down. No need. You just need to compare. Okay. See whether it's each of the element equal. is in there or not. Number one. Is no, it in set one. G? No. No, right? So for sure, they are not the same anymore, not isn't it? Ah, therefore, yes. what you write is, 1 yes. is it is an element in set F, but 1 is not an element in set G. Therefore, or thus, set F is not equal to set G. Because this one involves elements, so you need to write down like this uh, to show the proof. How do you know whether they are the equal or not? Okay, so 1 is an element in set F, but it is not an element in set G. Therefore, or thus, set F is not equal to set G. Are you okay, class? Yes. Yes, yes. Huh? yes. Do you have any question? No. No, no question, huh? no? No. Okay.